No, not right. I don't have anything. I'm just, I'm just worthless. So let's do 256 to the 3 eighths. Whoa. Okay. So. All right. Um, so let's say I have 256 to the 3 eighths. Now, with Ken, when you're looking at this, what you're going to want to do is, again, ladies and gentlemen, let's see, can I rewrite this in another format? Right? Is there another way for me to be able to write this answer? Well, I want to be able to see, I know I can rewrite it in radical form, which is going to be the eighth root of 256 cubed. But ladies and gentlemen, do you really want to cube 256 and then find the eighth root of it? That kind of seems like a lot of work, doesn't it? All right. Let's go and see, can 256 be written as a number that's to a power? Something squared, something cubed, something to the fourth power. Right? A lot of these numbers keep on occurring over and over and over again. And what you guys should know is 256 is 4 to the fourth power. Okay, Then we can now simplify this, because remember when you have a variable raised to our exponent raised to another exponent, you're going to multiply. So therefore, this becomes 4 to the 12 over 8, which equals 4 um, to the 3 halves. Okay, now is it a little bit easier to evaluate this? Yeah, we can now can place this now into the square root of four cubed. Well, what's four cubed? Four times four times four, sixty-four. Do we know what the square root of sixty-four is? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you plugged in your calculator. 256 cubed, and then took the eighth root of that, you're still going to get the answer eight. Okay? But you guys, I want to show you another way you guys can get through this without having to deal with your calculator. Okay? Yes? It's 4 raised to the 12th eighth power. It's 4 to the fourth. 2 times the 3 eighths, which is really 4 times, or 4 raised to the 4 over 1 times 3 over 8. OK? Which really, these kind of can't, these actually divide out, which equals 4 to the 3 halves. OK? All right, I'll give you guys the next examples after lunch. Huh?